Yo, what's good, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to another Tyler Perry Sisters review. This video is entitled Mama's Baby, Daddy's Maybe. Simply put, because we still don't know who the hell this baby daddy is. So, the way last week's episode ended had many a people in an uproar of excitement. All across the social media forums, there were hundreds of posts exclaiming that Zach wasn't the father, he'd been let off the hook, it's Aaron's baby. Now Maury doesn't need to be called. <laughs> it was funny. I did. I saw a lot of posts that really did make me laugh. It was very entertaining. It was very humorous. People really allowed their creativity to shine through with this. So some people, well, before I get to that, I must have missed that memo because when I didn't hear anything that confirmed that there was no possibility of Zach being the father. Some people heard four weeks and went absolutely nuts. And I'm talking about off the chain. For me, if I remember correctly, Karen had sex with Zach two days before she had sex with Aaron. And based on my calculations, that means that either one of them can be the father. Now, there are those who have ran with the narrative that Zach didn't finish. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you believe this. I think this is one of the dumbest of uh, things but you know everybody have every right to believe what they want to believe but they said he didn't finish when he had sex with uh karen and i'm just like really says who that's what i want to know says who and just because something wasn't shown doesn't mean that it didn't happen especially when it comes to a sex scene on a tv show you know i think we are all familiar enough with tyler perry's writing to know that this is not the way He's going to allow the paternity of Karen's child to play out. Nothing is black and white in Tyler Perry's world. He always leaves room for shades of gray, green, yellow, pink, lime, damn, taste the rainbow. You know what I'm saying? It's never black and white with him. It, it's always a twist. It's always something. And so, honestly, what I believe is that the reason why Karen was so upset in the ending scene of last week's episode is because I honestly think that she thought she was further along than what she is, therefore making it well known that, yes, Zach is the father. But because she's only four weeks, she doesn't know who the father is simply because she has sex with both men two days apart. So I think for me, too, and I know sometimes it's very hard and challenging to keep up with the way these things go. And I always say I think people forget that each season is only like eight to ten days. And I'm pushing it with ten. I really think it's only eight days. So if that's the case, you know she only slept with these men a few days apart. So I was really shocked, just me personally. I was just really shocked that there was such an excitement, like such happiness about Zach not being the dad. Because I'm like, I didn't see or hear anything that proved that the doctor didn't say anything that proved that Zach wasn't the dad. And she didn't say anything that proved that Aaron was the dad, you know, but like many of y'all, I don't want Zach to be the father either for several reasons. Just, I ain't going to get into it on this video because that's not what this video is about, but I do not want him um, to be the father of this child. And I think that four weeks didn't prove anything when the doctor said four weeks, it proved nothing. It proved nothing. The only thing it proved to me is that the paternity is still up in the air. And, you know, unfortunately, Tyler Perry doesn't believe in happily ever after. So who knows who the father of this child is? Tyler Perry is liable to do something where, you know, oh, the doctor read something wrong. We thinking it's Aaron, but then it's really Zach's or she do something and we think it's Zach's then it's really Aaron. You know, knowing Tyler Perry, he made both of them the daddy of the same damn child. I'm just saying. That doesn't make a bit of sense, but he's liable to do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't trust Hala. I do. I don't trust Hala with this storyline. I think that we have we haven't seen the end of this storyline being dragged. He's gonna drag this thing out like he always does. I just found it. Um, just it was just interesting to me that there were so many people who believed that. Wednesday night episode was a revelation of anything and to me I was like Tyler Perry when when the doctor said she was four weeks I, I bust out laughing and I laughed because I'm like Tyler Perry is really playing in our faces like he always does he's just playing in our faces and it's almost like you know somebody holding a, a pork chop in front of a dog in front of a panting hungry dog and it's like we're, we're the panting hungry dogs so we, we gonna stay there because we want to know how this whole thing plays out but I just found it um, quite humorous 
quite humorous that of all the things that I have read, all the things that have, you know, made me go, what? The he didn't finish one is the top tier. It's top tier for me because I'm like, he what? He didn't finish. We're not going to see, especially on the TV show, we are not going to see the whole process of sex. It's very rare that you're going to see people catch an orgasm, ejaculate, you know what I'm saying, on the show. Now, has Tyler done that? Yes, but this is not BT Plus. You know what I'm saying? I think we have seen a, a scene where it was uh, Zach who, you know, ejaculated when he thought he was having sex with Danny. But other than that, you know, we don't really see it too much. You know, like I said, it's not BT Plus, so, you know, they show everything over there. Tyler believes in all, you know, um, nudity, uh, sexually explicit actions, acts, scenes, everything over there. I mean, ain't nothing hitting over there. But when it comes to BT, when it comes to sisters, that's not something that we're going to see on a consistent basis. So, yeah. So, is mama's baby daddy's maybe is still up in the air. We don't know who the baby daddy is. I, like We probably won't find out the 2023 or 2024, knowing how Tyler writes. But, um, yeah. That's all I had to say. A little quick little video bringing it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear your thoughts. Who do you believe is the father? Now, I had someone in the comments of my uh, previous video that said they don't believe that Zach nor Aaron is the father. And I thought that was a very interesting perspective, being that we've only seen her with Zach and Aaron. But this is Tyler Perry. He might make Bean the baby daddy. And y'all probably like, Alicia, who the hell is Bean? Bean is Fawn's brother. Bean is the white dude who was in her house. Who broke in her house? Who she shot up? It could be his for all we know. The way that Tyler Perry write this this damn show, it could be anybody's baby. It's up in the air. Four weeks proved nothing. Now, one thing I'm not a fan of. It was a uh, a scene in next week's. Well, excuse me, this upcoming episode. It was a brief scene where we saw you know Danny talking to Zach, and she was pretty much saying you know she think the baby his, and she think that he thinks the baby is his as well. And I've always had a thing when somebody is trying to tell you that you are the father of someone's baby because if you wasn't in that room or closet helping us make it, I really don't want to hear what you have to say. So I'm I'm interested in that scene for uh for Wednesday with Danny and Zach. That's all I had. That's all I had. Thank you guys for listening. Y'all be safe out there. And until next time, I will holler at y'all later. When?